Here's the chain. This week, we're gonna get started on rings. And I'm stoked for that too, you know, like, I think you told me we're gonna do like five different kind of rings, like engagement rings, uh, signet rings. Honestly, I don't even know the rest, but. How can I focus with a dog like this at the shop? Come on. Look at him. All this metal, we're gonna melt it down so I can make an engagement ring or a wedding ring, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, now I see what you mean. So if you have like the hole, so stone doesn't have to drop down. It's just some kind of like something like that. You should sit in it up. Why? Because we have to open the seat for the stone. There you put the stone there and there you bend the metal. And yeah, just stone. just over. Yeah. Got these rings. Worked on them a little bit last night. And on this one, I'm going to be putting some stones. I've seen some green here. I'm going to be using the, the oval shape. I'm going to put it on here like this. I think it'll look pretty nice, honestly. And I got, this one is from the, the diamond pendant project. But I might just use this to, to make the bezel. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know this, but Zaltonite is pretty much a stone that is only found in Turkey and at one place they mine at like 10,000 feet in altitude somewhere in a mountain and the only place you can buy it is there. These are fake stones. 
Uh, I only knew that after I bought them, but they were pretty cheap, so I'm not even mad. But it's one of the only stones that we know about that change colors without being treated in the lab. They pretty much work by like the, the light source that's that's beaming on it, whether it's like candlelight, like fire, or you know, just like a light bulb or sunlight, but they, they change colors based on the light that's beaming on it. Which means that the piece that you're using, it's, you know, pretty much you could have a different stone wherever you go, as far as people know. Oh, like to cover the light? Yeah, I see. You happy with those? You finally hear too much, you see here? You go like this. You see here? Shit. Yeah, I'm a little off on this. It's okay, I mean, uh, you just don't need so it's, 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 You cut this nicely. Like there it should be something. Both sides. Not perfect, but it's good. So now we just file it. If you cut it here, you don't check where this is soldered. Okay, yeah, because the solder is going to connect and it's going to fall apart. Yes. Okay, so you cut between the initial solder and the one that you put. Well, one cut is exactly in the solder. Okay, okay. okay yeah. I see the problem. You're going to give it heat here, like that solder is going to move too. Now I see the problem. This is kind of like my documentary too. Oh really? That's dope. <laughs> Yo guys, so just to give a little bit of context, uh, the guys that just walked in, they're Lanlo Media. They do branded videos, product photography, web design, and stuff like that. And they came in to shoot a promotional video and they're recording the production of a ring from start to finish. And here's what came out of it. What's up guys, it's Mason here from Animal Media. We just shot a little video of the process of the ring getting made. Check us out on Instagram at Lamo Media. If you need any videos, photos, websites, Ottawa area, check us out. Okay, so pretty much I've done this about maybe three times now. Uh, my first bezel dropped down there and 
never saw it again. So, so I made this bezel and realized that it was too short, um, needed it to be like uh, longer. So now I came up with this one. Uh, hopefully this is the last time I'm gonna do it, but you know, it's all practice, so who cares?